Under caution at the Bristol Motor Speedway, 310 laps on the board. The leader is on pit road. Mark Martin is out of his fuel window, but they're hoping for cautions that can get them to the finish. His car is excellent. It's like tra chassis adjustment. The four tires and fuel here. Mark Martin, who hasn't won since May of last year in Charlotte, gambling. But they'll be able to go the distance here at Bristol. Matt? In the 24 car, Jeff Gordon makes a stop. Gordon came on the radio and said, Robbie, I just cannot run the line that I have run most of the weekend and run fast. So they're going to make an air pressure adjustment, four sticker tires going on, giving up that track position because he just feels like he cannot get this car where he needs it, Dave. The 29 car of Kevin Harvick was going to do what the leaders did, and so since Mark Martin came in, so did he. Four tires, just a little bit tight in the middle still, a pound of air pressure in the left front. Now, also pitting under the caution, Ward Burton, Sterling Marlin, topping off the fuel. Uh, Casey Mears, Kenny Wallace, and uh, those are the lead lap cars, along with Joe Nemechek and Ken Schrader. Those lead lap cars all pitting here. Schrader with a very long pit stop. He comes off pit road last among that whole group. A lot of guys are having trouble with their blood nuts tonight. You saw the 24 guys there. The car fell off the jack on the 49, Wally. Sorry to interrupt you there, okay. Well, the 24 car had a problem with the lug nuts. We watched them. They were trying to find one and put one on. Check out our Napa field summary. Cautions and caution laps. Through all that mayhem, only five cars out of the race. Larry Foyt, Jeff Green, Christian Fittipaldi, Michael Waltrip, and Rusty Wallace. And by the way, no further update on Rusty other than he went to the hospital of his own choosing for further examination. Okay. 25 cars on the lead lap, 188 laps to go. Ryan Newman is now the leader. Most of the lead lap guys did not pit under the caution flag. But they're going to have to pit before the night is over. That's why those guys, Mark Martin, some of those guys gambled it. They can make it the rest of the way. There'll be more caution laps. They can make it. Look at McMurray on the inside of the 48 car of Johnson. The battle for the third pos position. Ooh. Ricky Rudd, little tap there from Dale Earnhardt Jr. And Jimmy Johnson tantalizing Jamie McMurray with that left rear fender hanging out there. I forgot why I was going to say spot or position a while ago. I didn't say either. We were with you. Okay. Marty. Elliot Sandler from the infield care center looked a lot like last year's wreck. What happened? Uh, I just got a little loose under the full car. And, uh, he was down a little bit. I was up a little bit. Just got the combos full and turn around. 100% my fault. Side of Robert Yates and everybody at Emmerdale. Trying to get him next week. So Elliot Sadler. One of uh, many drivers involved in incidents tonight that have brought out 14 caution flags to this point in the race. Now, let's uh, throw some stats at you here. Most caution flags in this August race at Bristol, 16, 2001 edition. Most all-time caution flags here at Bristol, 20 in the spring race of 89 and the spring race of 97. <laughs> Wally, you're next on the bubble. I'm already out. You're out. Okay, boys, don't let me down. But you will be soon. Certainly at the rate things are going. Just drive carefully, boys. So what we're set up with here is a pit strategy situation, like we've been talking about at all these other races, where guys are trying to pit as soon as they think they can make it to the finish on fuel and let everybody else pit and come out behind them and gain that track position. Now, at, let me do, I'll just button up this thought just for a second, all right? Sterling Marlin pitted along with Greg Biffle, Terry Labonte, and uh, Casey Mears at lap 300 with 200 to go. Then at 310, Mark Martin and some others came in. So Sterling Marlin also came in there and topped off his fuel again, but Marlin is the farthest up. Let me check that. No, he's not either. How about um, Greg Biffle is the farthest up of those guys right now? Yeah, but they can't make it. If it goes green right now, Sterling cannot make it. No. They have to come back in. So it doesn't matter whether they topped off right now. It only matters if they get some yellows. Mark Martin needs 10 caution laps to reach the finish. 10. Jack Roush, the car owner, told us. Okay. So those guys stopped at 300 are going to have to have about 20 right. caution flag laps to be able to make it. 
And now the guy that's farthest up in the running order is Kevin Harvick that had made the pit stops because he just went by Greg Biffle. So Harvick in 12th is the farthest ahead. Johnny Salter about to lose a spot. That's 18th for Jeff Gordon. He'll lose a couple of spots. All of a sudden, there's something wrong with Junior's car because Ricky Craven goes right by him, takes over seventh. I'll tell you what, Ricky's had a very solid night tonight, even though he got in that uh, scramble with Ted Musgrave down the back stretch. 32 cars been very strong. He's been a top 10 car. Wheel spin off that eight car there off the corner. How about that tide ride, Matty? Well, earlier on, Alan, the biggest problem for Ricky Craven, the radio was out. He could not hear what the team was telling him. They finally swapped him to the backup channel, then it was fine. Then later in the race, it came back. They worked on that, made an extra stop under a caution. They've made a lot of track bar adjustments as Junior goes back by the 32 to try to free that race car. It's just gotten way too tight. Been a tough summer for Ricky Craven. Last 13 races, he's fallen from 7th to 21st in the championship standings. Five DNFs in that time. Some of them silly things like Michigan last week. Cut a tire. Car got out from under him, and he got clipped by Casey Mears. Team owner Cal Wells told me they're working very hard on finding a sponsor for a second team to add to that stable for 2004. There are the two guys farthest forward that are on the we're done pitting for the night strategy. Kevin Harvick in 29 and Greg Biffle in the 16 who's come back from a lap down, Marty. I just talked to Randy Goss, the crew chief, Alan. He said actually they cannot make it all the way on fuel. They had to pit that time because the Hamley had gone away on the car, but they're about 20 laps short of making it all the way on fuel. So unless they get a lot of caution laps, they're going to have to pit again for that 16 bunch. All right, so scratch him from the list. So he falls in that group with Newman and Bush and Johnson, McMurray, Rudd, Kenseth, all those guys got to stop. Or oh, the 88 and the 19 were. Ooh, they beat one. each other. I'm telling you. Dale Jarrett trying to move back up through the traffic. He's in 12th place. Jeremy Mayfield just shuffled back to 14th. And Ryan Newman leading at this point in the race with 166 to go. Matty? A very patient performance for Ryan Newman at one point tonight. Back on lap 80, he was all the way back to 32nd. He has fought back. Matt Borland kept him out on the racetrack under that last caution. Simply, they were not in their window. Lap 350 to lap 353 is what their calculator tells them is their window. Ryan did come on the radio, so the car is tighter. It's the best it has been all night. How many times did he spun out tonight? Twice? Uh, I was just looking back at that. Lap 77, he went for um, one of the loops. Last driver to win consecutive races. Kurt Busch last fall. So Ryan Newman won last week at Michigan. He could duplicate that, but Kurt Busch, who won this spring race in Bristol, is lurking. And uh, I said, I mentioned that Ryan spun at lap 77. He also got tangled up in the mess at 178. How about uh, Kurt Busch running second, Matty? Oh, got a car in the wall. Turn four. Bobby Labonte. Caution flag is out. And this would be number 15. Okay, those guys have talked about 350, 350. Now might be the time for them to make a pit stop. 162, it'll be 161 to go, and Ryan Newman gets picked up by the pace car. Got a lousy night for Bobby Labonte. He can't take too many hits with the back of that car. No. Be the second one. He tearing up the pieces pretty soon. All right, so 161 to go. And Bobby Labonte is going to take his car behind the wall. Directly will not stop it, go. Will not collect any money. Had enough. Okay, here they come to the opening of the backstretch pit road. Who comes in? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, Everybody. seventh. Everybody. No, no, no. Sterling Marlin, 16th place, stays out, Dave. Kevin Harvick is in two tires only, fuel, and then said will be done, according to Crew Chief Todd Barrier. They'll try to go to the end. Marty? Jimmy 
Jimmy Johnson running third. No one pitting behind him. No one pitting in front of him. He says, I'm rocketing into the corners. A little bit tight in the middle through and off. He said, I want a round and a half in the right rear of Wedge. They gave him four tires and fuel. He's had two top tens and has three Bristol starts, Bill. Dale Earnhardt Jr. slows to a stop. Free in, free off, tight in the middle. They'll make a track bar adjustment, give him four tires and enough fuel, Jeff Clark says, to get to the finish. Pat. And the 12 of Ryan Newman in. You can see they're making a wedge adjustment. The gas man, George, really getting ready for the second can. As the changer comes around, they're going to pack that fuel cell full of fuel. Matt Bullen said, get all in it that you can. And be careful of 97 on the way out, but they're not going to worry about that. Push beats them out. Sterling Marlin and Casey Mears and, did and, not pit. And the six car just took gas, came in and topped it off and went. 160 laps to go at Bristol. 